This will be a redo of the control, your back, your uh, backlit uh, brightness on your monitor from the command line. Uh, I've learned a few, few different ways of doing it. I think it's, I think I found the uh, pretty much an optimum way of doing it, but I'd be interested to see if somebody else has any ideas of maybe a <clears throat> more efficient or better way to do it. So, uh, okay, so when you, when you go to uh, adjust your backlight, this is an Apple MacBook Air, so most likely it's going to be in sys, sys class, and then just cap this to tell us that, and it's going to be here, it's going to be backlight, so cd to backlight, and apple, in my case, you might have a uh, nv or something like that. And so there, here are your, uh, so your uh, max brightness. This is similar to my last, so it can go up to 15. Uh, your actual, uh, it's at five right now. Um, so let's see here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to, uh, back to home, and we're going to write a new program. Uh, basically, if, if if you wanted to uh, if you wanted to change this, let me let me go back there real real quick. Sys class backlight Apple backlight. So if you wanted to actually change it, you need to go to brightness, and you need to have a something rewrite this number in here. Uh, you, you're not going to be able to do it. Uh, it doesn't sync well to actually open it as a text editor and change it. Uh, you can, uh, just, just for instance, you can sudo echo into this file something like 10. Uh, so, no, sorry, I need to echo 10 into the file brightness. And even then, so I mean, it, it's 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 the best way that I've found how to do it. And I'm just going to go back home. Uh, is to write a program. So you uh, show where you are now. So I'm at I'm in here. So I'm going to actually change to bin. I have you know you have like user bin and all that. But for all the scripts that I plan on writing, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, cd to bin and actually write it here. <clears throat> I got my uh, office stuff in there. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and vim out uh, writeness.sh, and that's an executable shell file. And give it the shebang, I think somebody called it, bin bash. So this is what, uh, when you start this command, you want it to prompt for uh, on a new line. So we just wanted to prompt and say enter brightness. And then when you type the number in there and hit enter, you're going to read brightness. This is actually, you're defining the, the variable and writing to it by this command. And then once you get that, you want it to echo the variable. And you call the variable with the dollar sign brightness. And you want to write that into sys class backlight apple back right. So this is just the path where we were before and file is brightness. Okay. Save it. So if we just uh, Print it out here. It's again. It's not non-executable, so we're going to have to ch mod it to make it executable. And so you have your brightness there. So now you know you could uh, sudo dot slash brightness and password and enter brightness, and I could change that to eight. And so if we cat out now. 
assist class backlight apple backlight brightness it's going to show that it's eight do it again and change it to five you can't tell because the screen recorder i found out doesn't show the brightness obviously and then now it's five so <clears throat> we know it works that way so now the different part since it's now in I'm going to go back to home and I'll, I'll show you while I do this, I'll show you how I define home. So now we're going to work with aliases. So here, uh, an L is another alias. So I'll, I'll show you all these, uh, the use of aliases to, to make it easier to call programs. So now if I wanted to do that brightness thing, I would have to do sudo bin forward slash brightness and then do it that way. And that's just not a cool way to do it. You know, it's, uh, it just takes a while. So what we'll do is we'll uh, go into your bash RC and right here, and we're going to add it to your bash file. So let's go ahead and do vim.bashrc. So I got this from the Debian uh, bash RC. So these are just aliases. So what this means is if you were to write, like you saw me do LA, that's the same as coming over here and doing ls-a to show all. And l, I really like l because that, that just shows you, l gives you the files, it shows you where the, whether they're files and uh, all that kind of good stuff. So I mean, there's, there's lots of cool ways of doing this. L, uh, ll shows you the read-write uh, permissions. So. There's another one. So here's where I, I changed home. I said, okay, let's, when I type in home in, in quotes here, it stands for command, uh, change directories to your home drive. So if I were to go to sudo su super user and I did home, then I'm in root. So if I su back to msjche and I do home, then I'm back at my user's home. So that's a that's a really handy alias. The next one we're going to do, insert here, I'm going to say alias, and you can pick whatever you want, but I do capital BB for brightness. I think it kind of makes sense to me. Double, double capitals is usually, they're not going to be used for anything else, so they're safe. So then what we're going to say is that equals uh, sudo bin forward slash brightness sh close single single uh, quote and I'm going to do another one here so I have a uh, I have a ffmpeg uh, script here that I use for ffmpeg so I'm going to go ahead and write that one too so I'm going to do alias in quotations ffmpeg just make it two f's two capital f's Open print or open quote. I'm just come over here. Copy. Control C. You can actually cr Control Shift C in Terminator. Control Shift V. And at the end of that, another single quote. And there you go. Uh, escape. Shift W Q. So now all we need to do is capital B B for brightness. Hmm. Why didn't that work? Give me just a second here. I don't want to redo it. Uh, let's go back in here. Vim dot bash rc. Oh, I know why. Because I haven't changed my. Uh, I need to do su and it's just che reload my profile. Now I do bb. There we go. Tricky. I would hate to have had to have done the whole, whole video over again. So yeah, just bb, enter, and make it five again. So you can't tell, but it's changing my brightness. And you could probably make it so that you would, you know, bb five or something, and not have to have an extra line. But yeah, I think that's pretty efficient at this point. And also, if I were to do FF, it's, yeah, I'm not going to rewrite it because I'm actually writing it now. But that's my, that's my FFmpeg script. 
And that's about it. So if you have any questions, let me know. And I'd be happy to help. Take care.